Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. The question that I get asked almost every day is, do I need my racket strung? When do I know when I need my racket strung? I get asked that every day. So aside from you bringing it in like that with a broken string, right? Well, that's definitely you need a racket strung, right? But what if your racket looks like this? The strings are intact, right? You hand it over to me. I start doing this, right? To see how it feels, if it's holding tension. This one seems to be holding tension. The next thing I look at, is I check for the wear. Like how much wear is in the string? Will it break soon? Right, so I'm, what am I looking for? I'm looking for notches, okay? I don't see notches here. I don't see too many notches here. And they're not that deep. I would say maybe that's a quarter of the way done, right? Quarter of the way done, if that, if that. Um, so if you were to bring me this racket and say, do I need my racket strung? My question to you, would be how does it feel if you say it feels fine i'm probably just going to send you back out with your racket and say check back with me in a month or check back with me when you feel that the rackets aren't performing to your standards because i know people that they actually like the racket with the strings that are old like they're used to that older, softer feel, especially on a poly. So my question to people who use poly is usually, do you like your strings in the beginning, right when you get it fresh, which is at its tightest point, a couple hours in, you know, usually it breaks in, in the two to four to six hour mark and people like it after that. Uh, do you like it after the 10th to 20th hour, which is when it actually starts loosening more? Or do you like it at the end, right before it breaks, right? So ask yourself that question. When do you like your racket with your strings the most? When do you love playing with it the most? That will actually help me or whoever you're bringing that racket to, uh, it'll give them some insight as to, should we string it lower? Should we keep it at the same tension? But usually if you like your setup uh, and it's not about to break, I'm not gonna suggest that you, break, you, you, you change your strings out because there's probably no need if it's playing fine. Now, the rule of thumb in tennis, and you probably have heard this, is that however many times you play in a year should be how, excuse me, however many times you play in a week should be however many times you string in a year. So if you play once a week, string it once a year. If you play twice a week, string it every six months. So twice a year. If you play five times a week, you should be stringing that racket five times in a year, if that makes sense to you. Hopefully it does. But it's up to you because you know how you play and you're the one that feels for tension loss or, you know, obviously breakage, right? So, if you're sensitive to it, as soon as it loses tension, you can't stand it, then you're probably going to be one of those ones that string more often. Or if you're just a chronic string breaker, you'll, I mean, I see kids in here with three rackets every week. So it just depends on your style of play. But um, so in terms of when you should string a racket, well, ask yourself those questions and like I said, if it doesn't play badly, right, don't change it, okay? But my personal rule of thumb to everybody 
is if the strings are intact, right, and you play once badly, okay, it may not be the strings. If you play twice badly, okay, we can start considering the strings, right? And at that point, maybe bring it in, okay? If it's driving you crazy and you really think it's the strings, because psychologically, you probably need to change those strings just, just to get them changed, you know, okay? Now, if you wait until the third time and you play three times badly, then definitely bring it in and change them out because it's probably the strings, okay? So the first time could be an anomaly, second time, probably in between your head, third time, probably definitely the strings, okay? So three times badly, definitely restring it. If Even if it, you don't think, it, even if it's not gonna break, you probably just need a reset, you know, like a string reset is what I call it. Get a tune up on the racket, kind of, get a new leaf on your tennis life. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.